This is a tutorial for broomstick lace as well as Tunisian crochet. I am attaching this to the Traveling Infinity scarf that was started by Seta's Place. And so let's get started. The supplies you're going to need to do this are a crochet hook. The one I'm using is a five millimeter and a very large knitting needle. This one is a size US 50. If you don't have a knitting needle this size, you can actually use a broomstick or a mop handle, uh, which is where the name comes from. So let's get started. With the right side facing you, you're going to take your yarn. I'm holding two strands together. You're going to go through each of these chains that are along the top here. In this case, there are 21 in this Traveling Infinity scarf. So you're going to go through the front and the back loop. You're going to grab your yarn, pull it through, and slip it onto the knitting needle. Once you have your first loop onto the knitting needle, then you can just gently tie the tail that is left so that it doesn't slip through. I'm now going to go through the second stitch. There it is right here, through the front and the back loop. Grab my yarn, pull it back through the loop, and over the knitting needle. I'll do that one more time, through the front and the back loop. Grab the yarn pull it through and slide it over the knitting needle. I'm going to do this the rest of the way across. So when I'm finished, I should have 21 loops all the way across. So we'll do that. You can pause your video now. We now have 21 loops onto our knitting needle. Now, unlike regular crochet, where you work between the front and the back of the work, when you do broomstick lace and Tunisian crochet, uh, they're both similar in that you load stitches on the right side and then you take them back off again. So broomstick lace is going to be twisted when you take this off. You're going to take groups of the loops off, twist them, and then chain through those stitches. So you want to make sure you have an even number of loops for each of your little lace sections. So because I have 21, I'm going to do three loops for each section. So I'll have a total of seven twisted sections when I'm finished. So what you do at this point, you slide the needle out. So the loops are just sitting loosely. Again, you're working from the right side. So I'm going to take the first three loops, here they are on my finger. Make sure they are not twisted before you do this. And I'm going to twist to the left. You can twist to the right or the left. I'm gonna to twist to the left just out of habit and hold it on my finger. Now the first, the first little section of lace, I'm going to do four chains in. One, these are single crochets. Two, and 
and three. So you can see I now have three stitches that I'll be able to go back through. So I'm going to take the next group of three. Here are my next group of three. I'm going to turn them to the left so they crisscross. And I'm going to single crochet three, three single crochets into it. So there is one. two, and three. Now I'll get this up close so you can see what this is forming now. See how this is kind of twisting like little X's and it looks like lace. So you're going to continue to do this all the way across. We're now going to do the Tunisian lace section. Now, Tunisian crochet hook is a crochet hook with a tail attached, and it has a cable and it has just an end to it like this. Sometimes they look like a giant knitting needle with a crochet hook on the end, uh, but the type I have has a cord on it. Just like the um, broomstick lace that we did, and here's what it looks like finished. We're going to load stitches onto the crochet hook. You're going to turn this to the wrong side. Here you can see there's the wrong side. And we're going to have your yarn in the back. Just like with the broomstick lace, you're going to be loading the, the stitches onto the crochet hook not actually crocheting all the way across on the first run. So you're going to go through the back and the front of the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, and just load it onto your hook. So I'm going to go all the way across. I'll have 21 stitches loaded onto my crochet hook when I finish. I now have the 21 stitches loaded onto my hook. And I'm now going to take these back off of the hook again. I'm going to grab my, my yarn and go through two stitches, grab the yarn, Pull it through two stitches, grab the yarn, pull it through two stitches, grab the yarn, pull it through two, all the way across. I want to turn it around to the right side. This is what it looks like. You can see there's like little, little bumps in between it. And now I am going to repeat a row of the broomstick lace again. All right, this time coming through my broomstick lace, Instead of grabbing the top stitch like I did, I'm actually going to go into each of these little holes you can see that were created. You can see it a little bit right there. So I'm going to start with my first loop. 
and just put it onto the knitting needle. This is a little awkward to film and to watch because the knitting needle takes up so much space. I'm going to go into this next hole. You can see it right there. I'm going to grab the yarn, pull it through, and slip it on, and slip it on the needle. This will be the third stitch, and slip it onto the needle. And I'm going to go all the way across the 21 stitches, so I should have, once again, 21 loops when I finish. All right, again, I have the 21 stitches looped onto the knitting needle. And once again, I am going to now pull them all off. Going to grab three, twist to the left. The first one I'm going to put four single crochets into. You do want to watch when you start your first loop here that you don't pull too much or stretch too much or it's going to change the size of this first loop. So you really want to be careful that it stays in place. One, two. I will say that it would be easier if I was using a regular crochet hook instead of a Tunisian crochet hook and knitting or crocheting with two strands of yarn that are very grabby. So it's not going as smoothly as it probably could, but we'll get there. There we go, we have our first four, and then we're gonna gather three loops for each section and put three single crochets, and we'll go all the way across just like we did before. And make sure your loops are not twisted before you intentionally twist them or it's gonna look a little funny. There's one. Two. Three. And again, we're going to go all the way across.
Here's my second completed row of broomstick lace. And you don't need to do two niche and crochet in between if you didn't want. You would just simply continue doing the broomstick lace and going through the double loops of your stitch, the front and the back. I'm just putting the Tunisian crochet in just because it's something a little bit different. So I'm going to repeat one more row of the Tunisian crochet and then I'm going to repeat another row of the broomstick lace. So I'm going to put in a couple more rows and that will finish my portion of the Traveling Infinity scarf. So let me get this finished and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the finished product. Here it is. And this again is broomstick lace with Tunisian crochet in between. If you'd like to see something with a little bit more detail on the Tunisian crochet, I do have another tutorial up on that and I will put that up right here and you can go check that out. Maybe it'll be over here. Wherever the little eye is, click the little eye and it will take you to a tutorial I did a while back on Tunisian crochet. So thank you for watching this tutorial and thank you Seta for letting me participate in the Infinity Scarf.